This is Josh Friedman in southeastern Turkey, very close to the Iranian border, which is behind me. I am outside of the city of Chaldiran. In back of me, up in these hills, the Turkish government and military are constructing a border wall. This wall is going to stretch across the entire Turkish-Iranian border. It's spanning way south of here up a ways north of here and it's in the process of being built right now i'm in vaughan province where the wall covers 268 kilometers there still uh, the, the wall here was just start construction on it just started two months ago elsewhere along the border construction had started earlier but construction is speeding up now due to the situation in afghanistan the domestic sentiments here in Turkey have very much turned against migrants. There are about four or five million refugees and migrants living in Turkey right now, with Syrians being the majority of them. But there have been steady flows of Afghans coming from out of Afghanistan across Iran and into Turkey, across uh, and border areas around here and that's been happening over the past several years actually and now with the fall of Kabul to the Taliban and the Taliban taking over there are increased fears among members of the Turkish public uh, that there would be a huge influx of migrants coming from Afghanistan and pressure has been placed on the Turkish government to do something about it and what's being constructed in back of me in the hills over here is what is being done part of what's being done so the there's a three the, the wall stands three kilometers high i just talked to a turkish military officer who also tells me that they're building a excuse, excuse me not kilometers three meters high and uh, i talked to a turkish military officer who told me they're building an additional 1.5 meters of barbed wire fencing on top of the three kilom three meter excuse me again wall and in addition to that very recently the special turkish special forces have moved into the region and or moved at, to the actual border and are guarding the border and filling in some of the gaps where wall is missing and this military officer i just spoke with told me that the combination of uh, the wall and, and the turkish special forces moving in here is really deterring migrants and he said that right now there are no migrants crossing into turkey at least in this area uh, there very recently, as recently as just a few weeks ago, there were still steady flows of migrants being smuggled from Iran into Turkey. There have been uh, a whole array of smuggling routes, but a key one or a key few have been right around here in this Chaldiran area in Van province. Van province has been a hotbed of the migrants entering Turkey. Many of them have been repelled so once the migrants if the migrants even do succeed crossing in then they face the possibility of getting caught by Turkish police and Turkish police have likewise really ramped up their efforts to catch and and eventually if permission is granted by the government deport migrants and likewise there uh, from some of the migrants we've talked to uh, they've faced uh, all kinds of issues from both the Iranian police and the Turkish police along the border. So more and more this is becoming a fortified border, which is happening right as one might think there could be a huge refugee influx from Afghanistan headed toward Turkey and possibly into Europe as well. Uh, obviously because of the situation in Afghanistan and many people fleeing the Taliban. So I'm going to continue doing interviews and doing reporting in this area, but I wanted to give you a picture of the wall that's being built as well as some general insights into what's happening here in southeastern Turkey 
beside the Iranian border with regard to the migrant crisis and specifically the Afghan migrant crisis. Thank you very much and stay tuned for more interviews and future reports on this matter.